Hey, good afternoon, church family. It's Wednesday afternoon. Time for your midweek update to keep you aware of what's happened in life the church. I'm Pastor Mark. I'm with Pastor Matt and Pastor Austin and Pastor Lisa. And I bet the biggest question that you are asking right now is what, Pastor Austin? When can I go to Lowe's Home Improvement Center in Martel Plaza? The answer is anytime you want. But the biggest question we're all wondering <laughs> Is actually, I have a lot of other questions I've really wanted to know, but I think the number one you guys are thinking about is when can we open church? We've been talking, discussing. We all kind of, Mark said, submit your ideas. He wanted us to submit them live. So my thought is October of 2029. What about you, Elisa? Um, wow, 2029. <laughs> Whew, it's a long way off. Um, I think I submitted tomorrow. 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 Okay, out of those two, I'm not going to... What do you think, Matt? Come on down. We're Come on down. right now. Right now. <laughs> as much as we would love to have you with us right now, we're not ready for you. And here's the, here's the other thing. We aren't going to be opening this Sunday. I mm -hmm. know that a lot of people were hoping. We're not quite ready. We don't want to push this and not be prepared. We want to open in a manner that's healthy and safe and that follows the guidelines we've been given. So based on that, when are we going to open? June 7th June 7th, of that's 2020. Of 2020. Of 2020. <laughs> that's a week from this Sunday. And we're going to open, and Pastor Matt, it, it's going to look what? A little different? It's going to be a little bit different. We're going to have to abide by some different rules. And if you've come to church before this, it, it's not going to look the same as you remember it. But we're, we're going to do the best to take care of our body. Um, it, it's going to be limited seating here, and so that we're going to have a reservation system that you're going to have to, uh, to take part in. But more details on that are, are, are going to be coming out. For now, what you need to know is that we're not having church on site this Sunday. It's online. And the following Sunday, June 7th, is, right. is when, when you're yeah. going to want yeah. to yeah. And, and when we do church here, we're still going to have online component. Yes. It's going to be both and. We're well, going to be live home, and you're online. You're going to be able to join in. Yep. yep. So, so uh, by looking different, Pastor Lisa, what do you think in terms of families? Yeah, so, so kids in general on Sunday mornings um, is definitely going to look completely different. Um, we know from just the, the guidelines and the regulations that are coming out that child care and, you know, specifically nursery and toddler and up, um, we are being asked not to have that because we cannot safely socially distant the children right now. And so, you know, we are kind of weighing all of our options of exactly what Sunday morning looks like for families with young children. But it, it might even just look like your kids sit with you um, in the auditorium. But I do know one thing is that I will continue to film mm -hmm. my weekly Bible lessons and get them to you guys in an email on Sunday morning so that you guys can have children's church in your home uh, every week. Yeah. yeah, and we're working on the same thing with teens trying to just walk through right now. I mean, the, the what we're looking at is the same thing. Teens are probably going to be, you're going to be sent with your family, so students be prepared. Um, but uh, it's going to be, we're just, we're working on ideas to make it look yeah. different and safe. That's yeah. exactly right. Because you matter to us. You are, mm -hmm. you're our family and you're our church body. And so this is not about, about just doing things to be different. It's about really doing the best for you. So we're going to follow good protocol, good standards, best practices. So we'll start here on a limited seating on June 7th. But this Sunday, I'm excited because we're going to have our online service at 10 a.m. and we'll end about 11. And then at 11.30 to 12.30, we're going to do, ready for this? Drive-through drive communion. communion. That's right. They're pre-packaged too. It's, All ready to go. We're, we're going to encourage you to come and we'll have a drive-through. Some helpers come along and you'll pull into the carport, the drive and we're going to serve you communion. We're going to celebrate the life of Christ together. And uh, looking forward to praying for the church family. Yeah. Yeah. We, we miss you guys. We, we care about you. And we, wanna, we want the body to really connect deeper. So plan on communion Sunday, drive through um, 1130 to 1230. 1130 when Mark gets done with point three, just <laughs> shut off the TV. Now, how many points do you have, Mark? I have no idea. Okay, so it's don't only not point three. Just wait till he's done. And then yeah. we'll tell you to come join us here at the church. Yeah, if you live up country, you've got an hour and a half to get down here. So you're good. You're good. So you Sutter Creek people and Jackson, you can be first in line. Uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a neat time. And it's something we've been looking forward to, to see you face to face. So 
this Sunday, watch TV at home, watch church on your TV at home, mm -hmm. and then come through for drive-through uh, communion. Yeah. yeah. So fantastic.